Hello everyone, and welcome to some more um, Binding Blade Girl Power. Um, we have our new unit, Layla, who is replacing Chad, mostly just because I wanted a thief earlier than Kath in this game. She has the exact same base stats, it's just if I was making an exception to include a thief in this run. Unlike with Isadora, who's had an absolutely bonkers experience gain because of a glitch in, making, in giving her a custom class. Alright, let's see... Right, this guy's got a javelin. Um, Shauna lives that one. This guy has a javelin. And we're just gonna take care of him. So, I'll be perfectly transparent. This is... I should get an... I'll give you an iron axe first over the hammer. Um, this is my uh, second attempt at this map. It's not that the first attempt was a failure, it's just after learning a little bit more about the enemy um, movement that I can stick to the challenge in a truer form because these archers don't move and a lot of the reinforcements inside the castle move. So what happened was... Um, Boars ended up getting attacked and have pulling a lance guy over here, and I ended up using some of these uh, force deployed unequipped units to um, hold an archer in place while I had Kath, or not Kath, Layla try and um, get some chip XP off of them. So after just. Um, Really just seeing how the map played out a little bit, I think I can just take care of it um, better, you know what I mean? And holding true to the challenge, and since this isn't like an Iron Man run, I don't feel bad about doing a little bit of a preview or some research in um, getting and starting the levels. So, let's, let's grab... Yeah, let's put that stuff away. And then... Yeah. So, now it's just getting everyone back into the corner, so that way they're out of the way. And then we will have some ranged combat. Yeah, as you can see, like, some of the soldiers move, but the uh, archers don't necessarily go. So, it's just much easier. I think just, um... Doing a little bit to uh, get stuff moving with these guys is going to help the um, help things in the long run. And let's see if Usador gets her glitched experience again. Yup. <laughs> oh man, this is uh, very silly. It's Lou, the, someone that we're not going to recruit, but we absolutely are going to, um... Oh shoot, I don't know if that got loaded wrong. Oh well. I'll fix that little animation bug later. Alright, but in the meantime, let's see, how far can this guy go? That guy can't run very far, and... We can run and hand axe the other guy if need be with hopefully without okay would be in actually no we can do it from his square once we take them out so we won't be in archer range yeah and i thought i fixed that little animation bug but i guess uh but i guess i didn't so we will do that a different a little bit later Alright, Shauna, please get, like, strength, skill, speed. Missed a strength level up on her, um, earlier. Let's see, actually, I probably want to get Isadora down here anyway because of those guys on the bottom, and I can send Shauna up after the other guy. 
So we'll do this and get this Iron Lance guy out of the way. There we go, that's the amount of experience that you're supposed to get. Okay, now no one else is actually in range. And I can't put anyone over there. I can't put the Iron Axe back in the... Yeah, I think we just wait, build the support, and keep going. And we'll see how all this stuff shakes out. That's a lot of guys, okay. Alright. That is not even close to a two round. How much defense does this guy have? Two. Oh, right, because I didn't get a strength level up on Shauna. Okay. Um, what does Arena do? 14. Okay, so they can't even really two round them. Together. All right. You know, pardon me for just a moment. I'm gonna fix that animation glitch. He isn't that much better. All right. Um, all right. How is I going to do this? Uh, I'm pretty sure Layla just gets one shot. Yep. I don't want to lure the archer, so. Probably best move is just go here with the iron axe and then just clear out some of these guys. And I think that that EXP glitch only happens when Isadora is getting attacked and not her doing it. Um, not on player phase. So, and then what I can do. Guy would have one, two, three, four, five, six, so you'd be able to hit two cap. This guy has one, two, three, four, five, six, and would be able to hit there. Oh, I know what I can do. Um, Next to Arena with the Slim Lance. And Merlinus can go here and be safe. And then this Forest Tile and here are also safe. There we go. Forgot that I could rescue people to squish them into the corner. Let's see if the EXP glitch happens on enemy phase. Yes, okay, so it has to do with being enemy phase low levels. Huh. Well, at least I figured out where that is. Doesn't mean I know how to fix it, but I at least know where it is. <laughs> Yeah, there's, uh, <laughs> I think this is why I'm probably not going to be trying to release ROM hacks anytime soon because, my goodness, I am not perfect at programming them. Alright, and none of the archers are moving, which is great. Well, we <laughs> broke the animations. <laughs> oh, well. 
All right, you have 17. Actually, how much can you do? You can do three with 77% accuracy. Okay, how? Oh, wait a minute. This guy. Wait, Archer is there. 10, 17. Okay, this might actually get Kath some more experience. So what I can do is I can put Isadora here. Now we have 89 to hit. And Shauna goes here. Arena gets all healed up. Risking it. Okay, wait, we gotta make sure um, Layla's animations are on. Yep. Get him. Look at all that experience. That's amazing. Um, and Merlinus, I guess we'll just go up here to be closer to. Pulling the archer in, I guess. At least with the cavalry, I'll have um, rapier triple effectiveness. Just do this heal. That sure. What are what are stats? Who needs stats? Not me. Since you have a jab, we're just gonna... Actually, I don't have any a ton of hand axes, so... I guess we'll just wait. And this guy will just hang out for a little bit. Ah, more cavalry. Eventually, Shauna might have to use an Iron Lance, but... So here, rescue... And do the good old-fashioned take drop. Um, make sure we have the Hand Axe up top, because that means we should go for Shauna from... No. Lack of weapon triangle advantage. Heck yeah, we dodged. Alright, this is just a regular Iron Lance guy. What is this? Okay, so Slim Lance is not going to defeat him, but we might dodge. Do I have anyone that has an Iron Lance? Only Merlinus. Well, this guy's gonna go down anyway, so I might as well take an Iron Lance and give it to Shauna just to 
I forgot Merlin as his cavalry. Okay, so that actually secures it without, um... Yeah, as much as also I was thinking, like, more Layla experience. Yeah, this is actually good that the Iron Lance just works. And then we can use the turn to heal Arena since Shauna's at full. And we will just keep building this support. Ow. Alright, please get strength. That's amazing. That's wonderful. Oh, dang, the first cavalry's here. Oh. Actually, I can send these guys up if need be. Yeah, iron sword and jab. Okay. Um, how far does this archer go? Not super far. So you guys can actually just go up here to get out of the way, which is hilarious. Take that guy down with a javelin. It's risky, but it can happen. Right, and then he can't follow. The javelin guy could theoretically get her. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that's less than ideal. Okay, so both of those guys can technically get her. So we'll go here, heal her up. We'll put Isadora here, and I'll just iron Lance, and... speed is kind of equivalent. Okay. Do these guys have any volumes? No. And get some lance rank. Yeah, because one nice thing in FE6 is you can get S rank in like all of the weapons that you can equip. So Isidore is absolutely going to get S rank in swords, axes, and um lances. Hopefully, most important is probably going to be axes, because I don't know if there are many other units that can use armads, where Arena can at least use um, Durandal and Melody and uh, Shauna can use Maltet. Dang it, I wanted that Iron Sword guy to um, give to Arena, but that's okay. does amazingly. Right, right, Rapier did 10 each. So that means I can go here, and this just means one of these need to hit. Ow. 
Ow. <laughs> that was not a lot of experience. Okay, so I don't think anyone's actually going to get into combat. So I'll just send um, my axe guy over to um, collect a men staff just to save some time. I'm gonna happen after the cavalry comes through. Yeah, I think it's just gonna have to happen after the cavalry comes through. So everybody just moves back. Not an exciting turn, but at least it, it's still just the turn. Well, actually they can't even go down and around, so not a big deal. Oh, that actually just kills the Iron Sword guy, that's awesome. Terrible experience, but that, that works. How does Iron Lance do? Iron Axe is 100%, Iron Sword also 100%. Um, and because you have the Jav, you're close, nope. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just take the Iron Axe and take care of this. Hopefully we'll buy, be able to buy some more heal staffs in like a map or two. This is... I do want to keep everyone up at full health. <laughs> yeah, and we're not using Shauna to bait the archer. And those guys are just... and the calves are fine sitting there. That men staff. And they're far enough away that I should be able to do this pretty safely. Do I just go here? Here, make sure we don't have ranged equipped. Build supports, have Merlin-S ready to in close by as well as the two of you. This archer should be toast. And then I can just deal with the cavalry as they come closer. This way. Thank you, Archer, for contributing to the experience for Layla Fund. Um, and then because it's just going to be
a lot of random hits. Let's do that. Um, We'll just play this safe because we've made it through. And I'll deal with the javelin guy as he uh, gets here. I forget exactly how many reinforcements come, but I'm pretty sure that's almost all of them. So this is going to be a lot of... Yeah, I'm probably going to need four units to get the archer up top. Actually, no, I can just pull to there or one of the, excuse me, or to one of the interior squares. That guy can't go super far, so we can use the rapier here and give some experience to Shauna. And then no one can get further in, so it's actually pretty safe to just stand here and I'll just use the iron lance. Oof. We're not risking that. <laughs> I'm not risking the kill on Shauna off of there being two units that can do stuff. It's not necessary to have a thief with stats, but you know what's nice? Having a thief with stats. Um, actually, what I can do is I can go for the javelin. Perfect. And now I can just wait for the cabs to come back because we're not in any hurry. Did I forget to get the men's staff? I think I forgot to actually get the men's staff. There we go. And it's also nice that thieves just get bonus experience. And then... We'll just use a bone. Um, because if we move, um, if we move Ellen, then Ellen will, um... out of position for the archer. And the archer will be able to move and that will be very bad. Because our back line is very, very squishy. So besides this enemy phase experience glitch, I think everything has gone pretty, um, pretty normally. And we are in good shape. This would be a really hard challenge to do without a Marcus unit, like, especially with how fast all of these guys try to arrive, and with Arena and, um, Shauna being like the only attacking units that you would have at this point, that would be really difficult and luck based for doing this on hard mode. So I think having a Marcus unit is um, very beneficial. And 
and Shine is still getting some decent um, on kill XP. Seven, thirteen. Okay, so this guy just straight get finished off. But I don't think I'd have anyone else be able to do that or damage him without effective weapons. So I think that's probably just going to have to happen anyway. So we will iron axe. Actually, I could iron lance. No, iron lance would still be. Um, yeah, we'll just iron axe it and keep it keep it simple. Okay, sure, I guess it's not an enemy phase glitch anymore. There's only three more levels. <laughs> This guy has a hand axe, and this guy has an iron lance, and they both can go to the kind of the same squares. All right, if he has a hand axe, he, um, I can't counter with a sword anyway. Here we go, now we got another level. Here we go. Three damage, woohoo! Anything stopping me? Alright, so this archer can go to there, which means this crew needs to fall back a little bit. I swear I'm not doing this just to grind supports, though it is going to be super useful. Alright, yeah, I think we need everyone up a little further. Alright, this next turn we should be able to box this guy in. to recruit Lou, I can send one of these calves up here.
Bam. What an exciting map. Just a bunch of experience grinding, but... Wow, Layla's actually getting some stats. Hello. Welcome. Lou has a vulnerary. He's a mage, and mages are pretty good, except we can't use him. Do you also have a hand axe? No, you just have an iron axe. Okay, uh, forgot about those calves. It's not like Isadora, Arena, and Shauna are lacking weapons, so we should be okay. And Isadora's only gonna get, like, two more of these enemy phase glitched level ups, even though she's almost at capped speed. And then we can send um, all of our friends back over this way. Um, Alright, these guys can't actually get there, so I can... ...go here. I'll just go with the Slim Lance for now. Isadora there. Yeah, we finally got one of the um, 50 50s in our favor. Stinks that Arena's getting so little experience for that, but not much that can be done. And of course, the uh, secondary crit. I guess it's just extra weapon experience, which we're almost at C axes. Pretty good level. Alright. And this archer is going down much faster. Just lure with Arena, probably. I'll put Arena here, Iron Sword. Yeah, and these guys use the door, is probably gonna have to take care of anyway, so. That will work just fine. Of weapon uses a little bit. All right, 99 experience. That's a wall. Okay. How much do you do just with the iron axe? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's there. Okay, and this guy has a bomb. Yay, Archer defeated. Alright, we've got a 
and staff to give. Yeah, I don't think, even despite Isidore having a bunch of level ups, I don't think um, this boss was going to pose much of a threat anyway because of the hammer, because you can just sit back, wait, and then have the hammer take out a giant chunk of his health. You can still get that little chip XP on uh -huh. Ellen and staff. I don't know why Merlinus is following, but I figured why not. Um, oh right, the hammer. Well, that doesn't actually matter because we can just do this. Um, you are going to lose Slater. Um, you have a 0% chance to hit Isadora. So all we're really doing is killing time before um, we can get here. And really, we only actually need Layla at this point. Isadora's capped for experience. Okay. Well, <laughs> I feel sillier things have happened. Um, go steal a vulnerary and then go um, yeah actually yeah this is the same number of oops steal a vulnerary and get these chests Shana can be in the back, ready to rescue, and then if this one doesn't, okay, yeah, so they don't move. And now we can just come up, steal the bone, rescue out, and clean up. Oop, not attack. Alright, this wasn't too crazy of a map. Granted, Isadora is level 20 due to that um, enemy phase experience glitch in a game where you pretty much want to almost be exclusively enemy phasing enemies. But hey, that's uh. That is what it is when I made a custom class, so. We got a lot of experience on Layla. Ooh, Halberd's gonna be real nice. and 3,000 gold. So thank you all so much for joining us, um, and I will catch you in the next episode. Um, oh yeah, uh, don't look, Hector um, may or may not be ta taking a big nap after this one. So I hope you've all been enjoying the series, and like I said, I'll catch you, hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for your time, and have an awesome day. See ya!